think of it, how much is enough? If we're talking emergency funds, the ideal amount would vary based on your situation. Factors like your monthly expenses, income stability, and financial obligations impact the target. How much are you saving up for your emergency funds? Or do you even have one in place? If you were to be left with nothing but the cash in your wallet for a month, would you be able to get by in this economy? Story time! During the pandemic, when everything went on a temporary halt, many industries were affected, including the events and entertainment industry. So all my hosting gigs, all the other engagements that involved being outside were called off. What was a girl to do? At that point, I solely relied on a limited amount of funds left for my previous gigs. But good thing I had a goal set in my UB online app that I had set an amount topped up monthly. I didn't realize I had enough to get me by until I actually checked. I saved up about a, at least a four months to keep me afloat. No one really expects to be in a tight situation, but when you get there, it would be nice to have a little help. Here are a few things to keep in mind. Number one, set an amount. The general guideline is to save three to six months worth of living expenses. So initially, you could have that as your goal. Number two, consider your day to day. When you start building your emergency fund, you will need to consider your current situation and save an amount that won't take a damaging hit to your daily budget. Number three, Cut unnecessary expenses. Evaluate your spending habits and identify any non-essential expenses that can be temporarily removed. Consider alternatives like um, brewing coffee at home instead of just buying it daily. <laughs> Number four, automate. Set up an automatic transfer to your emergency fund account. And this way, a portion of your income will automatically be saved without having to remember to transfer manually. And this, or you can always do what I just did. Utilize the Union Bank Online's goals feature. Lastly, be patient. Building an emergency fund takes time and consistency. Be patient and stay committed to your savings goals. The peace of mind that comes with having a financial safety net is worth the effort. I hope that with this episode, you got a little overview of the ways you can set up your emergency fund. Based on my personal experience, I know how much of a help it really is, especially when you're aware that 